What's going on everybody, Steven LV1990 here, welcome to my channel where gaming is the name, entertainment is the game, and I first want to address my inactivity. I have been real busy, my grandma just moved up here, and uh, she was moving from Florida, so I had to go and get her, and I had to get all kinds of stuff packed and unpacked, so it's, it's been a long process. Um, she moved up here during the summer, so um, she's not doing too well, we've been taking care of her. So I just wanted to apologize for my inactivity, uh, but... I'm getting back in the groove of things, especially with something that I know everybody's been waiting for. We're not, this isn't any normal unbox corner breakdown review type thing, okay? Right now, this is something that we've already seen, but it's actually getting reviewed, and it's something I know everybody's been waiting for, and I've been waiting for it, and I've been waiting to show you guys. So, let's dive right on in and show you what I've got in the spotlight today. Let's see what you guys can think. I was just giving you guys a moment. You guys needed a moment to really think about what's going on here and what's lit up and what's not. But yes, it is my Star Destroyer. It is the Disney Diecast Exclusive Store Star Destroyer. Ugh, Disney Store Exclusive Diecast Star Destroyer. But um, I had this lit, and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's go ahead and turn my spotlight off. You guys can see something, huh? You guys can't, you guys can, can you see it? Can you see what's lit up, huh? Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and get it on the table, and I'll show you guys even some more detail, in-depth look. All right, so now we have the Star Destroyer. As you can see, it's lit. It looks awesome. Uh, I received it in the mail today. I've been looking forward to it for a while. Um, the uh, Star Destroyer itself runs on 9-volt batteries or a 9 volt, just one 9 volt battery um, the uh, it's actually it's actually pretty heavy go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit more detail okay right now you know looks like a normal star destroyer you come to the back look at that, That's, this is actually really really bright and the lights are flickering now I've only seen one other video of this Star Destroyer that's all lit. The guy didn't give a whole lot of details, and that's okay, you know, he's just showing off his work. But, uh, this right here, I'm gonna give you in-depth detail. Uh, I, I, I don't know the mechanics of it and everything. <laughs> You're gonna have to ask the person who, um, who actually put this together for me. And you're like, well, how, well, how am I gonna do that? I, I don't have any way of getting a hold of them. Well, actually, you guys, I'm going. I got a treat for you. I'm going to give you the and provide for you the page to this person's eBay page. Yes, on eBay. But she does an amazing job. She does all kinds of other ships as well. Not just Star Destroyers, but she does other ships as well. Um, she's more used to the Armada series of Star Wars. Um, uh, for those types of ships, though, you know, uh, this is the first ever diecast one she put together for me. <coughs> Here you go. There's the uh, hangar, hangar bay. Look how awesome that looks. It's so bright, though. So so bright. Now um, her name is Michelle, and she hooked me up real nice with this thing. We were constantly talking and uh, getting things right, and um, of course it, it was a little difficult for her because she's never done a diecast one before. She's always done like the plastic series and you know the rubber ones and stuff like that. She's never done a full on diecast, but for her first one, come on guys, you guys got to give her props. Look at this. I mean, it just looks awesome. Now I did want uh, lights here and up here, but unfortunately there was just there was there's already so much wiring crowded into it. We weren't able to get it done. Um, uh, not to say though, like if it's a little bit bigger, or if it's maybe the Armada series, she probably can do that. But this is diecast, so you know there's only so much you can do with diecast. But she did an amazing job. Props to her. I thank her so much. And uh, you will find her eBay page in the description below, as well um, uh, as uh, uh, oh wait, no, her contact information is on eBay. So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and get a hold of her and get yourself one of these. Um, you don't have to already have one of these. 
Um, she has ships ready on hand. Um, if you just, you know, and when you end up sending her payment, she can take one of those ships. You can choose which type of Armada class you want, and she can go ahead and set that up for you and, and put it all together for you. Mine, I just wanted to die. I just have a die cast. I wanted to send it in and have it lit because honestly, I mean, die cast, the die cast versions are really, really nice, and I really wanted to get it done. And I just, I love the flickering. I love the flickering. That, that's one thing I definitely specified to her. I was like, I want the flickering lights. That's the first thing I told her when I was messaging her about me wanting to send my starter story to her. I was like, I want flickering lights on the back of this. Because, <laughs> you know, it looks like, you know, they're burning. You know, the thrusters are burning. So I was like, I got to have that. But I know you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. And so have I. I've been waiting so much and so long for this. I'm finally getting it out to you guys, and I'm so proud to have this. I mean, uh, this nine volt. I I I'm, I apologize. I don't have a you know a proper stand to set this thing on. Um, I'm eventually gonna get myself one and set it up here in my room with all my other Star Wars memorabilia. But um, right now, it's just it it looks so awesome the way it is. I mean, even with this thing, it it doesn't look bad. The only problem is you can't see the hanger. I mean, yeah, it, it it illuminates down here, but I mean, you can't see the hanger. But you still get to see the awesome thrusters. I mean, that just, it looks so awesome. It looks so, so cool. But you guys, I want to thank you so much. Show Michelle some, uh, some love and go over there and get yourself one of these awesome beauties. Whether it be the Armada series, or even if you have your own Star Destroyer or ship you want lit, go ahead and send it to her. Send her, send her a message. See if she'd be able to do it for you. She was such an awesome sport during this whole thing, and um, uh, I just want to thank thank her so much. Thank you, Michelle, for everything you did for this thing. This is absolutely amazing. Go show her some love. Go to her eBay page. Look at all her material. Her eBay page, when I give it to you, is Child of Highland 1. I, th I think I pronounced that right. I'm sorry, Michelle, if I, <laughs> if I didn't pronounce it right. But I want to thank you. And before before this video ends, I want to go ahead and show you what this thing looks like when it's dark. Now, right now, it's thunderstorming outside. So I wanted to, you know, I figured today's the perfect t day right now. I was going to wait till the night to do this. But since it's dark outside right now from a thunderstorming, I'm going to go ahead and show you some more lights. I'm going to go ahead and turn off. My main, main lights. Oh, well, this light's not... There we go. Okay. Now, I know on the screen it may look purple a little bit. But that's actually pretty cool for, with that purple on the screen. But it's actually really, really bright blue. Um, honestly, I think that's pretty cool that it looks a little purple on, on screen. You guys might not see it, but I do. But... I mean, it's just, ugh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I mean, this is an awesome nightlight to have. And then let's go ahead and show you the bottom of the hanger. Look how bright that is. Now, um, I will show you the bulbs real fast. The bulbs, there's two right here. One, two. And uh, there's a switch right here that she implemented. And if you see, if you can tell on camera... Actually, let me go ahead and turn this light back on and show it to you. There's actually a regular thing that normally, you know, just a regular crevice that's already here. Well, she implemented the switch in here. Now, let me go ahead and turn the other overhead light on so you guys can see even more. Okay. Now, right here, there's two bulbs. And then, and then what you can see there is there's also, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bulbs total right there and then she cut a little bit on here there's a bulb there where's the other bulb at I don't know where the other bulb is uh, it's up here somewhere it's up here somewhere and then on this side there's one right here so um yeah she did an awesome job go ahead and turn the lights back out again like I said this thing runs on 9 volt battery Now look at that. That is just so awesome. Oh, I got an idea. Let me add some smoke effect to this. Well, I didn't do 
as well as I thought I would. I can't I can't see I can't see what I'm doing. You know, I'm I'm trying to go around the camera. But yeah, there it is. Looks so so cool. Well, like I said, you know, go show Michelle some love. I mean, she she I mean, go show her props to this because she did an amazing job. Honestly, I think she should make her own YouTube channel of her showing off her creations and what she does. And um, I think that's what she should do because she does such an amazing job. Um, and that's what I like about this die cast is there is no really light leak. You know, there's no um, leaking of the light or anything like that. Um, just a little bit up here, but what do you expect? This right here? Yeah, that's my e-cig. This right here is plastic. But of course down here, these are plastic as well, but you know, they don't leak because that's really heavy duty plastic right there. Um, I mean, it's so, so cool. Of course, on the bottom, you know, not really much light leak except around here. Well, actually, no, that's, that's not even light leak. This right here is textured. It's just shining over to it. So no light leak on the bottom of the hanger. Ugh, I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to get a stand so I can just set this thing up. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, if you guys want a Star Destroyer like this, or even a different type of ship, um, and or you guys don't have a ship, but you want a ship, she's got the ships ready to go. All I have to do is just go purchase, and you're purchasing the ship as, uh, uh, along with all the lighting units and everything with it. So, if you guys want one of these things, these awesome bad boys, and you want to get yourself one, go over to Michelle's eBay page, show her some love, purchase one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, everybody.